Let's start exploring our example which we are going to implement on CSI bridge. Our example today is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 span multiply by 20 equal 100 meter. So I have 100 meter bridge. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 internal support which called beers. This beers is composed from one and two circular column and one column head and one footing combination footing okay combined footing and then we have two abutment for the outer support for this support and for the support take into consideration for the structure system of this one is let's remove this one and it draws a structure system. If we consider this two lines of bearing here, so this is pen working as simple span, and this is pen is working as simple span for transferring the load. But regarding those, the continuity of the slab for this area is going to make a negative moment on the support and positive moment for the beam, so for the beam in the mid of the span. But in order to get the maximum positive and negative moment for the girder, we are going to consider this girder as simple span. So in this case, we will get the maximum positive moment under the mid of a span, while considering the continuity of this one we are going to make the negative moment above the support let's explain this by another way so this is my bridge I have one support here and one support here one support two three four in this case if we consider this as continuous beam the moment will be something like this okay but if we consider, let's remove this one, if we consider we have two support, one simple beam here and one simple beam and one simple beam, simple beam and so on. So in this case, the building moment will be W square divided by 8. So we will use this value to get the maximum positive moment and we will use this value to get the maximum negative moment let's explore the elements of bridge for the superstructure we have T section girder 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 take into consideration the span between the center line of girder to the center line of girder should not increase then 1.8 why because if you remember when we go for let's go for see all the slide and go for our design vehicles which already here the span from x to x is 1.8 meter so 1.8 meter of your girder distance between t and t is more than 1.8 in this case the whole truck will be loaded in one girder so in order to reduce and distribute the load above the girder try to make the span from center line to center line not more than 1.8 otherwise the full truck will be loaded on one girder which is going to be more expensive and hard to be safe let's go for our slides again so here is our sewer structure one two three four five six and seven girder here is our column head our bearing here is elastometric bearing and this is two columns circular column 1.5 meter radius diameter this is the column head details 1.2 depth 2 meter 
uh, for weights and diameter for the column is 1.5 meter. We are going to define the proposed section for T girder and bearing location. So let's start our steps of work. 